Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Genus Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have learned the difference between the impulse turbine and the reaction turbine. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to differentiate between two reactions turbine over here. That is nothing but the Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine. So in this particular video, we are going to differentiate between these two reaction turbines. So guys, if you are new over here on my education channel, Engineers Academy, kindly subscribe to my education channel and please press the bell icon. Because whenever I upload a new informative video, educational video, you will get instant notifications. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the difference between the two reaction turbines that is Francis and Kaplan turbine. So guys, as we have seen in our first video, the main function of the turbine is to generate the electricity from the flowing water, from the like the hydrodynamic forces of the water, it will generate the electricity. That is the basic important function of the any of the turbine that we have seen. So first of all, over here, the there are the two reactions turbine and their function is the same is to generate the electricity. That is the Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine. So if we think in terms of the head that is the potential head which are available with us like this particular Francis turbine can be suitable for the medium head potential that is around 100 to 500 meters of the head and this in this particular scenario that we can go for the Francis turbine whereas if we having the heads below of the 100 meters then in this particular case we can go for the Kaplan turbine because this particular Kaplan turbine is suitable for the lower heads lower potential heads so this is this particular Kaplan turbine is suitable for the lower potential heads if we think in terms of the type of the flow basically if we look at the construction and overall the flow from this Francis turbine the flow will be the radial type of the flow it is a particular like the water will enter in a radial way and the water will leave axially basically this particular Francis turbine is a mixed flow type of the turbine whereas in case of the Kaplan turbine it is the axial input and the axial output that is the like the water will enter this particular Kaplan turbine axially and water will leave axially so that this is nothing but the type of the flow so over here the Francis turbine is the mixed flow type of turbine whereas this Kaplan turbine is the axial flow type of the turbine if we talk about the flow rate the flow rate in the case of the Francis turbine is having the you know medium flow rate whereas in case of this uh, uh, Kaplan turbine the flow rate is having the higher side so this is the reason over here the specific speed of this uh, Francis turbine is on the medium side that is it is having the specific speeds of 50 to 250 whereas in case of the Kaplan turbine this particular Kaplan turbine will be having the specific speeds around 250 to 1000 so as we can see this particular Kaplan turbine is having the higher specific speed than that of the Francis turbine so if we talk about the torque generated over here the torque generated will be more in case of the Francis turbine than this particular Kaplan turbine as we are getting the maximum flow rate and maximum specific speed in case of the Kaplan turbine if you look at the construction of this particular Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine if you look at the internal construction of the vanes like the internal construction of the vanes is a slightly you know very much easier like the or it is a uh, it is not complex in case of the Francis turbine or and it is more complex in case of this Kaplan turbine basically this particular internal veins of the turbine in case of the Kaplan will be like movable or else it is the adjustable one so that's why it, it is having the more complexity than that of the Francis turbine if we talk about the type of the mounting this particular Francis turbine can be mounted horizontally as well as the vertically so like we are getting the flexibility of the mounting in case of the Francis turbine but in case of the Kaplan turbine we cannot have you know the uh, mounting flexibility over here this particular Kaplan turbine needs to be uh, installed vertically such as the axis of the rotation has to be vertical over here in case of the Kaplan turbine as over here as over here in case of this uh, Francis turbine the number of the veins number of veins are more than that of the Kaplan turbine so that's why this is the reason the frictional losses which occur in case of the Francis turbine is on the higher side than that of the Kaplan turbine so over here the frictional losses in Kaplan turbine in, is considerably on the lesser side than that of the Francis turbine if we talk about the hydraulic efficiency over here the hydraulic efficiency of the Francis turbine is very much less than that of the Kaplan turbine so this is the reason in the most of the scenario where the 
lower potential head and the excess quantity of the water available in that particular scenario this particular Kaplan turbine is mostly recommended also we can say that this particular Kaplan turbine is used in some sort of the thruster generating as over here the number of the veins are very much less if we talk about the number of the blades in case of the Francis turbine that is the number of the blades are very much on the higher side that is around it is having around 16 to 24 number of the blades in case of the Francis turbine whereas in case of the Kaplan turbine I am only getting the number of the blades around 5 to 10 number of the blades over here in case of the Kaplan turbine so this is the reason like there will be a maximum flow in case of the Kaplan turbine and the less frictional losses in case of the Kaplan turbine so guys that is nothing but the uh, difference between these two types of the reaction type of the turbine so over here in these two type of the turbines the uh, like the maximum power generation occurs based upon the pressure energy and the kinetic energy so that's why it is called as the reaction turbines so guys that is nothing but the difference between these two type of the reaction turbines that is francis and the kaplan turbine i hope you understood this particular today's topic if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video